In this video series, we'll show you some of the power of the Enterprise Vault Dtrace utility. In this first video, we will introduce Dtrace. Key Enterprise Vault processes can be captured by Dtrace, and you need to understand which processes to log. Dtrace can be run on other servers too. When you run Dtrace, you run it locally on each server. Here we see Dtrace running in a command prompt and we'll see that some more in future videos. What I wanted to show you here though, is the huge list of Enterprise Vault processes on my Enterprise Vault server that can be captured by Dtrace. Here is another server. This time it is a Windows file server, which is running the EV FSA components. You can see in the Dtrace command prompt here, a much shorter list of processes that can be traced. Remember that sometimes you might need to trace in two places at the same time in order to capture a problem end to end. Dtrace has a number of logging levels. It used to be that Verbose was the only one that made any sense or was of any use. Recent improvements in Enterprise Vault 9 and Enterprise Vault 10 from the supportability team has made things much better in this area. Brief logging is just that. It is intended to give an overview of what is happening. Verbose is intended to be very detailed, but definitely watch out for errors that are normal. Medium is the middle ground and can be quite helpful if the issue being investigated is part way through a long running process or task. Dtrace can be used to troubleshoot an Enterprise Vault issue and is used when standard troubleshooting techniques fail to identify the problem. This is often the hardest part. Once you know you have a problem, you have to constantly refine the description of what you're trying to investigate. You need to be able to recreate the problem, which is very hard to do if the problem is intermittent or happens, say, two hours into a six hour archiving run. Preparing Dtrace is as much science as art. For example, you may need to decide which processes to capture and end up by not tracking them all. Help can be obtained from Enterprise Vault support. In fact, a lot of what should be traced can be driven by support if you're investigating a problem with their help. You've got to then be able to capture the trace and the problem in a reasonable space of time. It's very hard to capture a trace of a six hour archiving run. The files are huge. As we can see in subsequent videos, detracing a simple task such as an archiving run of a single mailbox can result in very large dtrace files. It's tricky to analyze these files, but experience does help. The main things to remember are that not all errors are in fact errors. So you can't, for example, just search a trace file for the word error and think that you found the cause of the issue you have. Of course, these very large files are something that's been anticipated by Enterprise Vault developers. And in a future video in this series, we'll see how triggers and filtering can help reduce some of the noise and reduce the file sizes. In summary then, you've got to decide what to log. There's lots of processes on an Enterprise Vault server and some processes on other machines too. Logging levels are now much more helpful but it's still hard to capture a problem and can be very detailed when you review the logs. It can be an iterative process. I hope that this video about Dtrace is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.